Hi, I'm Jun, and today I am not in Malaysia. I'm actually in the Food 52 kitchen, and I am going to show you how to make a miso banana bread. I've been really obsessed with miso lately, and I've been putting it in a ton of different things. Uh, I've been trying it in like pasta, and different pastries, and I'll show you this one, which is one of my favorite miso recipes. So the first step is to get some bananas, preferably some overripe ones. Uh, so you get, get about like three or four, but you're gonna keep one for garnishing, uh, but the rest you can mash it up. These bananas are pretty ripe, but if you have bananas that are not ripe, you can actually just like pop it in the oven and cook it for like two, three minutes just to soften it a bit, and then you go and mash it. So you still have chunks in it, which is great when you slice it and bite into bits of banana. Then we're gonna mix everything in the mixer for the batter. We'll start with the butter. So make sure your butter is pretty soft so it's easy to heat up. Put the butter in. And together with the butter, we're gonna add miso actually. There are a few different kinds of miso uh, out there. This one is a white miso, like shiro miso. It's usually on the sweeter side. So it's really good for pastries uh, and sweeter recipes. And then you have other misos like red miso or I think it's called aka miso uh, that is stronger, more savory, more like deeper in its umami. And those work better for savory recipes. So you put the white sugar in and brown sugar as well. Here we go. So you will get your butter and sugar and miso to be kind of like a almost like slightly aerated texture. We'll add in the mashed bananas and then eggs. And then vanilla extract. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's about one yeah. teaspoon, so that's okay. Oh, it just tastes more vanilla, which is not a bad thing. Okay, so we're gonna mix uh, this for a bit more. And then we'll add in our dry ingredients. All-purpose flour, baking powder, and just a touch of cinnamon as well. Okay, so mix it until it just comes together. You don't want to over mix it, otherwise like, it will be too dense because uh, of the gluten. But once you get it to this stage, you can put it all into a baking pan. What do you guys call it? Loaf pan, yeah. Then with the banana you saved from earlier, you're just gonna slice it like halfway so it still keeps that bend. So we got two nice halves of the banana. And we're just gonna put it into tin, like so. So once you're done with this, you can put it in the oven. It's about 350 Fahrenheit for 60 to 75 minutes. So, the miso banana bread has been baked. Uh, I let it rest for 30 minutes after coming out of the oven. Uh, and now, we can slice and eat. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Yeah, I really like it when things are like, just on the edge of like, burnt. But, it has just a like, deep caramelized look to it that you know it's gonna taste really good. Okay, I'm gonna cut it with a serrated knife. Do we taste? Yeah, let's taste. So I really like this recipe because I feel like the miso adds like a deep caramelized umami to it. Mm. Mm. It's like banana bread plus, you know? Mm. You got a regular banana bread, but then the miso just adds a another dimension to it. And I hope you really like this recipe as well, just as much as I like it. Thanks.